time, space, energy, mass, movement. All these things are all kind of the same. That was absolute bullshit. The amount of times I've heard that time and space are the same thing. What the fuck? Where, where, where are these crazy people getting this from? Hey, look at that. Five pound off at Game Station. <laughs> Sorry. Um, where, where, where the fuck are these crazy people getting the fact of time and space? Oh, relative. Time and space is relative depending on certain, certain situations. And I can't, I can't understand that factor because up in space where something may be happening, something, some asteroids being built up by things whizzing round or God knows what. Time is irrelevant to that event. If it takes 10 minutes or it takes a thousand years, what difference does it make? The thing is formed. No one's there waiting for it to happen. So th th there's that. Um, what about time being sucked into black holes? Or even black holes? A black hole is left from when a star has, has ran out. Don't you get a little... A white, isn't that what a white dwarf is? But from what I've understood, a black hole is formed from a sun exploding. Or some, and it sucks in light and time. Again, I've tried to understand. I don't think it's the fact I'm missing something. I can't grasp how it can suck in time. I can, like, it, they've, they've covered it a lot in Stargate. And, um, it kind of makes sense. And I understand it then. I think it's just been a while. I would have had better, a better thing to say about that. But never mind, never mind. How it all began. How it all began. Well, back in... Year... Oh, I'm not going to try and work out what is before BC. Anyway, a long, long time ago, before the dinosaurs... Yeah, no, before there was even Earth, before there was space as we know it now... Uh, from what my understanding is of what research has already been done, I don't see how it's research. It must all be sort of, sort of presum presuming lots of things. But there's there used to be a soup. So I was going to explain this as if this was my theory, and when I actually faced you and was about to say my theory, it's not. It's 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 the theory I believe in. Let's put it that way. Long, long time ago, there used to be what is now space, and it's got all the planets in, and suns, and moons, and whatever else, asteroids, and comets, and all the rest of it, which is now, like, space, and a chunk of something. Instead of it being space and a chunk of something, the chunk of something was all smashed up into the smallest pieces it could ever become and all the other chunks as well and then there was gaps in between all them pieces and it spread across everywhere and then there's the edge of that yeah we're always going to have the what's beyond the edge of space argument if there was a brick wall then there must be something behind the brick wall yeah let's not go there yeah that is confusing but yeah no Let's not go back before the soup. You see that? Yeah, that's what I'm calling a soup because it's just little tiny bits of what we've got now, like the corner of the mobile phone that I have here, and oh, what else we've got lying around? What makes up that two p? So you all understand about gravity pulling on whatever, <coughs> which is magnets. Mag the Earth's magnetic and it's being drawn towards the sun. And the only reason we don't go woo bang and fly into the sun is the fact that we're spinning around it. 
So the centrifugal force holds us away and the gravity from the sun is pulling us in. So we've got a nice balance. It seems a bit too uh, convenient, doesn't it, that we've got that nice balance, but no. Because it could have gone wrong a many, a many, many other times. It's just that it went right randomly this one time. That's why there's not aliens on Mars because it's just just right where we are now. Oh well, no, let's not let's not get into God again. Oh well, if it's just right, then it must be designed. No, it's just that everything might have happened once, and it it just happened to go right. Now, anyway, I'm got I'm I'm I'm, I'm veering off topic big time. Um, yes, we're, we're still at the soup. <laughs> Never mind. Um, yeah. I'll come back to what happened before the soup. That part is my theory. Fucking phones ringing. They can wait. Um, back in a sec. Right, sorry about that. It was Holly from some random place in press. Yeah. So all this, all these tiny little, little broken up bits of planets that are all absolutely everywhere all of a gravitational pull on each other. Now, there is an edge to all this, and then beyond that is space again. Space, a mass of something. Space, yeah? So, this obviously doesn't fit in my hands. That would be ridiculous. This is a great, 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 great... It fills from here, where you are now, to as far as you can see, beyond the stars you can see, let's say that, yeah? And the same the other way and that way and up and down and every direction, yeah? And as this gravity... In fact, I think this bit is my own theory of it, or at least my understanding of what I've been told. So gravity reacts on all this mass of little tiny bits and it gets smaller and smaller and smaller in every direction, yeah? It's all getting tighter and tighter and tighter until it gets to like like solid rock or anything anything that's solid. Probably rock's probably the best the best way to describe it. It wouldn't be something like nylon or plastic, put it that way. Anyway. Tighter, 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 tighter. But because it's not bonded in any particular way, like a rock would be, it's very unstable. And it's still being pulled and pulled and pulled. Excuse me. <coughs> It's still being pulled and pulled and pulled and pulled together until it gets to a point where it becomes ridiculously unstable. And then, bang, it all was flying out. But because during the bang, there's so much heat and other things, chemical reactions taking place because of the bang, because of the heat, that creates what we've got now. And then there's all sorts of other bigger chunks of things all whirling around around each other, and they're all being pulled into each other like um, like the Earth is spinning around the Sun and then they hit each other and then that's still moving around through space and then it becomes across something else that's, that's moving that way and then that starts to do that and then bonk and then they get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until there's no little pieces left flying around that haven't found their own path and pattern around something else the way you get that perfect balance between gravity and centrifuge. And then that's that's basically it. It's obviously the Earth's just like a rock when it's first formed and it'd get peppered by meteorites and things like that and that'd be why there's, that's why the crater's on the moon. There's only one reason we can't see craters on the Earth is because we have things like weather and erosion. You don't get that the same on other planets, especially not the Moon. I mean, they do have weather, but there's no water erosion and, and things like that. But anyway, I think that is the end of my video, and I, I hope that was sufficient, and I hope I'm not too late. Anyway, okay. Goodbye.